Hello everyone, just a quick video this time. This video is in response to one of my viewers who dropped me a comment and they raised a very good question. This question is coming from YouTube user All One Kind. Thank you very much for watching and thank you very much for your question. So this is back on the topic of transitioning from Jeskola Buzz into being a Reaper user. And one of the cooler features that we enjoy in Jeskola Buzz is the ability to start recording with the hard disk recorder and then do a bunch of live edits while our track is playing and then have all of our live manipulations of our effects parameters be recorded in real time. I'm sure that anybody who has used this feature can attest to how powerful this can really be for your compositions. So the good news is that this is very much so possible here inside of Reaper, even though it may not be readily apparent how it's done. But it's pretty simple, and I'll just show you really quick. I prepared a really lazy MIDI loop on the first virtual synth track that I could find available. I'm going to play it without any effects on it first, and then to demonstrate this example, I'm just going to mess around with a delay patch on the sound. So here we go, here's what it sounds like dry. Okay, nothing special, I'm just going really fast here. So we'll turn on the delay, and then I'll just play around with the length of the delay time and the feedback while we are doing a live recording of this loop. And I'll just show you really quick, it's very simple. You just go up here to the file menu, and then we go down here to save live output to disk, which is also called bounce. And this gives you some settings. We'll just go with the default setting here. And it also gives you the option of stopping the output the first time you push the stop button. You can do a few different things here, but we just want to start the recording. And let's hit the play button. And then, like I said, I'll just play with these sliders, and then that will be our proof of concept that this actually worked in real time. Okay, that should be good enough for an example. Let's just pop over here into our folder, and here we have our WAV file, and let's play that. Skip forward a little bit. So you can tell that what I just did inside of Reaper on the live setting has definitely been recorded. So that's all we really need to do. That's all there really is to it. It actually functions very much so, like Jeskola Buzz does, with its hard disk recorder function that we all know and love. It is very similar over here in Reaper. Well, here's a step that I missed. I guess we should probably come up here to the file menu again, and then we come down here to the save live output to disk, and you'll see there's a little tick mark next to it. So that means that it's still going. It says down here that we're stopped bouncing at 26 seconds. So I think that if we push play again, then it would resume bouncing, possibly. So let's try that out. Here we go, the bouncing is still going. You can make a little bit of noise here. Now it should be about 41 seconds long. And we may have just crashed VLC media. So, let's just close that, <laughs> just to be safe. And we'll come back up here to our file menu, down here where the check mark is. And if we click on that, then it will just say that our live output saving is completed. So now we'll just have a look over here in our folder again. Reopen the output. Now it's 41 seconds long. Yeah, there it is. It went kind of crazy towards the end of that track, just to prove the concept. 
So that's actually something that Reaper does that I kind of like um, better than Buzz because we were able to just have that file just auto output into our folder and then play it. And then without having too much hassle inside the, the software, then we were able to just resume where we left off and keep recording. So that's pretty cool actually. Anyway, that's going to be all for this one. We'll just keep it super short and sweet. I think this answers your question and then some, all one kind. Thank you very much again for your question. And I hope that all of you found this useful. And I hope to see you again. Have fun out there. I would like to give a Patreon supporter shout out to John Johnson and our newest member, AJ Barbour. You could become a Patreon supporter too. Absolutely no pressure on that, but I greatly appreciate anybody who is willing to make a financial contribution to my lame little channel over here.